All right, here we go. We're going to get into the uh, the cab portion of the uh, 67 Kaiser Jeep project. We've got the bed laying over here. And as you can see, we've got a lot of, lot of raw steel and still in here. Um, we're going to coat this, and I think I'm going to go with an unusual coating. I'll get into it in another uh, video here when we actually are going to you know, paint these. Uh, but I can't put this outside yet because I don't want any of the new metal I put into rust, and we're in a uh, controlled environment, so it doesn't rust in here. Great, so we're all good. I um, want to get that one done. And then come over and get this one done, get them all ready for coatings, and, you know, go from there. So it's kind of a bunch of backwards stuff. Um, I'm getting the bodies fixed here and here, and then they're going to go outside, and then the frame gets to come in, and the bodies get to go back on the frame for the fitment, adjustment, drivetrain. Um, I don't know if I'm going to shorten frames. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. haven't decided. We'll get there when we get there. Uh, but what I decided to do, since we have the bed done over there, and it's ready, um, really next stage is gonna be sanding and painting. Uh, we wanna do the same with this guy. But I wanted to give you the once over here. So here's just the walk around of it, okay? And I started doing a few things. Um, there was a really bad, bad oil canning in here. And I started doing a little bit of shrinking in areas to bring that back in. And they had filled this. I mean, there's a lot of Bondo on this, a lot of body filler you can see. But this was probably almost a half inch deep in here. And it looked okay visually, but it was just popping all over the place, and I just didn't want that. Um, there's a big dent here. Let me get to an angle so you can see it better. Here we go. I don't care about this, okay? And over here, another, this one was really big. And this I did straighten out a little. This was wrinkled in quite a bit, but uh, this was probably back in another quarter of an inch here. So I'll give you an idea. See the edge. You can see the warp that's right through here. And I pounded that out as much as I could. There's a reinforcing bar under here that makes it a little difficult. Uh, but suffice it to say, I'm not trying to get it to an original state by any means. I'm going to leave these things in. These types of dents. Oops, sorry, my shadow's in there. These types of dents are going to get left in. Um, what I really wanted to do is, uh, well, what prompted all of this for this piece was that the body filler had cracked and a lot of rust, as you can see, was starting. So with all that rust back there, I just didn't want it rusting through. So as I got in to grind down the body filler, I found out here it was probably three quarters of an inch deep of just body filler. So I ground all of that out. And while I was at it, I hammered some out just to get some semblance of a regular surface. And then we'll go and we'll, we'll, get, we'll fix up the rust here and we'll get that all taken care of. Anywhere that's surface rust like this, we're going to fix it up and then we're going to recoat the whole thing. Uh, but oh, let me get the front end. I'm sorry I didn't get that. So here we go. Here's the front end. You can see the uh, lower lip. It's all in good shape. We got a little bit of surface rust in areas, but um, very, very good condition overall. Let's go ahead and come around here. And when I say good condition, uh, this was, the intent here was, this is going to be an off-road toy for me. Hopefully get it street legal so I can take it to and from places. We're going to ride trails and all sorts of other things with it. All right, so here we go around here. Okay. Body's pretty straight. A little surface rust here. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go back around once more, and we're going to open some doors and take a look inside. So let me show you here. This door has a little bit of a gap down here. Not a big deal, and it's a little off in the front. So whoever rehung this door didn't hang it straight, but the door is straight and the body lines are straight. So we've got a little bit of a drop when that opens, but let me show you the door closing. I mean, they close solid. They close really nice. The other one closes better. Now, this one's a little off, like I said, because they didn't hang it straight. But uh, we'll go down here and get a look underneath. Uh, we're going to need a little light, I think. Hang on here. There we go. Give you a look underneath there. Very good condition. Not rusted through. Same thing on the rockers. Okay. Here we go. These are in very good condition. Very little rust on here. Both sides are pretty much the same. Okay. Interior. Here's the floorboard on the passenger side. This is all very solid. I don't have any rust holes in any of this. Okay. Come back here, a little rust hole down in the corner. You can see the light coming through. Not too bad along the seam here. And this floorboard is a pinch well to this back wall on the back side. Okay, so that's not too bad. Let me go around the other side and we'll show you the driver's side. And it's a little worse on that side. So we've got a little rust down here we're going to fix. We'll talk about that. It's going to be the first thing we tackle, I think. Just because it's probably one of the more complicated because it's got an angle and a lip and rolls and whatnot. Okay, now here's the driver's side door. You can see how good this opens and closes. Get that door open. And again, same sort of thing. 
All right, get some light. We can see underneath. Not bad at all. Rockers over here. Not bad. Okay. Now here is the bad. Oh, well, there's a little bit here. We got a little bit of rust here. I'm not sure how bad that is, but you can see that that's gone through. Okay. So we're going to do some exploration in here and repair whatever we need to. Floorboards in good quality until we get back to here. You can see we got a hole. That's the opposite side of where we're going to fix with the other flange. So we're going to get in here and have to cut out this brace. You can see there's a hole through here as well. Okay. We're going to cut that brace out and put new sheet metal in the floor. And it should be relatively simple because this is just a flat piece. Uh, you know, there's no, uh, we don't have to do any bends or shapes or, you know, anything like, like that in there. So we'll cut that center piece out, get some flat metal in there, do the back. But overall, this is in really great shape. Here's the dash. And we come back around the other side. Get to the other half of the dash. Even into the glove box, you can see great condition in there. A little bit of surface rust, but nothing rusted through. All right, same thing, interior of the doors. All very good condition and definitely serviceable. If somebody wanted to do a restoration, they could, but for me, it's gonna be a toy. So, like I said, it's in uh, pretty good shape. We're gonna start on this piece next. Uh, we'll get some under the hood too and when we get up to the front. There's really not much to fix on the front end besides any you know Bondo or rust repairs that I wanna do. This is really the only metal replacement. Uh, there might be some replacement in here when we get to start digging into that rust, I don't know, but definitely on that side. So there's the intro, and uh, when we start cutting things out from back here and doing the exploration up there, we'll get some more video of that to see what we're going to get into. So that'll be the, uh, the next in this sequence, I guess. Thanks.